Welcome to Design 30. My name is Jason Bilyeu, and in this podcast, I provide design strategies and tools to improve creativity, innovation, and overall design confidence. Hey, everyone. I just wanted to record a quick bonus episode on something that I think a lot of us have been thinking about recently, and that's the subject of artificial intelligence. And this is something that can obviously be kind of scary. It can be something we don't understand. We think it's going to cause problems, get rid of jobs, all sorts of negatives I feel like you'll see in the news and all over the place. And like most things and like most technology, I think it is something that needs to be approached with caution and we need to understand it really well and the pros of it, the cons of it, what potentially it can do that is helpful for us, what it can do that is very negative or damaging for us or for society. That is obviously just the, a wise way to approach new technology. But I want to talk about a little bit lower level in how it can actually be incredibly useful for people on a day-to-day basis. And so I was just going to give a few examples of what I've seen recently. Uh, even just earlier this week, one of my coworkers who's a software engineer gave us a quick talk on how he's using uh, this AI, I think it was ChatGPT, to help improve and speed up his coding efficiency. And he just went through <clears throat> how you can ask it to write just quick little snippets of code for you and it busts it out in you know seconds. So you can use it to, uh, if you're going through a big, long software project, there's all this code you need to write. A lot of it isn't necessarily value add code, it's just code that needs to be there. And that's where ChatGPT can be helpful writing some of that code. Or maybe you're trying to figure out a new way or just a way to accomplish some task you can get some ideas from ChatGPT. So it's a great way just to provide code that is maybe uh, not value add code, simple code. I'm not a software engineer, so I don't know the details of this super well, but it was really interesting how he was using it to just improve his efficiency and to help him with things that normally would have taken a long time just because there's so much typing to do. Uh, You can have this AI helper type a lot of that up for you. And then you edit it, you check it, you make sure it's doing the things you want it to do. Uh, But there's all of these little hacks that you can pull in this artificial intelligence to do for you or to help give you ideas, maybe help you solve a problem. And I've been using it actually in a very similar way, I would say, uh, for, uh, well, from a mechanical engineering perspective, I've been using it a lot to help compare materials. I want to know the comparison of this material to that material. Or can you uh, pull all of these different parameters for this material and compare it to this one? So it's a really helpful comparison device. And of course you can do that on something like Google, but if you uh, want it all in one spot, you don't want to comb through a bunch of websites, uh, ChatGPT can be really helpful for that. Of course, checking your references and seeing, uh, making sure that the numbers make sense, that it's not pulling just random data from somewhere. Um, but it, that, that has proven to be a really helpful and just a quick way for me to get an idea of whether two materials, uh, which one is better than the other, just an idea of what they're good for. What are some of their characteristics? All right, I can help make my decision. And I've also been using it even just creating some of these podcast episodes, right? I want to help spur some ideas. So whatever topic I'm thinking about, I just start asking chat GPT some questions about it. It's like, well, what would questions be that I have or that my audience would have on this type it in? And it just starts spitting out all sorts of stuff. Of course, just pulling information from you know, all these different resources on the internet and Yeah, it just helps spur your thinking, gives you some good ideas, helps you understand some of the questions uh, perhaps that your audience is going to have and provide some interesting answers or thoughts for that. So overall, I think it's just a really helpful way. It's kind of like talking with someone (laughs) in some ways and just kind of throwing ideas at them, hearing some of their ideas and just going back and forth and developing 
uh, for me, what I want these episodes to look like, what I want them to cover. And sometimes I use a lot of what it says and think, oh man, these are actually some really good ideas, or this is a really good way of saying this. And then other times it's not really relevant, not very helpful. Like, okay, I'm not going to use any of that, but at least it was a helpful exercise. So I guess what I'm trying to say in this quick little bonus episode is artificial intelligence, AI, it's here and it has a lot of benefits that we should try to take advantage of. So whatever you're doing, especially if you're running like your own small business, you need help with copywriting, you need help with uh, just learning about something new, getting some ideas about something new, maybe that you're not an expert in, but you just want to uh, get some some information on. Maybe you want to get some ideas of what to learn about this new topic. AI can be incredibly helpful for that. So I think it's going to be very, very important to learn how to use it. And so much about, at least right now, the way to get good information out of the AI is to be able to seed it properly. So you want to ask good questions. You want to use the right words. There's still definitely some skill involved with it. So get used to it, get practicing with it, and try to figure out ways that it can make your life more efficient. It can make your job more efficient and make you, uh, it can help you really just focus on the things that are the value adds. You can use your skill to work on the value adding parts of projects rather than the, the things that are more of just like the grunt work. Maybe you call it the intern work. Those sorts of things are where AI is going to be incredibly helpful and improve efficiency overall. So I'm just throwing this out there as I think this is important. I think it's something you should be looking into, something you should be reading about, you should be testing it out. Uh, I know you can use ChatGPT for free, at least one version of it. You can also use uh, Google Bard and then also Bing, I think has ChatGPT built into it. So there's so many different ways right now to access this interesting, cool technology. Um, It's something that is also kind of entertaining. Uh, Sometimes I I just start asking all these random questions. It's almost like, it it is almost like having a conversation with someone. So it's kind of fun, uh, but it's also proven to be very helpful and very useful. And the more you can know about it, the more, you know, you can make informed decisions when it comes to maybe these higher level ideas of whether we should regulate it at a government level or whether it should just be more of the free market. Uh, It can help you understand uh, the implications of some of these higher level decisions that you may or may not be asked to make, or you may or not may not be asked to vote for people who have opinions on this. So the more you understand the technology, the more you've used it, you understand the benefits of it, you understand the negatives of it, the, the better off you'll be. So That's all I wanted to say in this quick bonus episode about AI. I would highly recommend just going out there, go to ChatGPT, well actually go to openai.com, create an account, you can use ChatGPT, Uh, go to Google, almost all of us already have Google accounts, so you can use Google Bard. Um, Yeah, go out there, try it out, and I would love to hear how other people are using it, how it's impacting their workflow, how it's making your life more efficient, or maybe you have strong opinions and you hate it. I'd also love to hear that. So please feel free to reach out on Instagram, reach out on Twitter. Uh, You can send me an email, learndesign30 at gmail.com. Any of those places, I want to hear feedback. I love getting interaction with listeners and hearing, yeah, your thoughts on technology, your thoughts on the episodes I'm putting out, anything like that. Please don't hesitate to reach out. And yeah, so go check out some AI. Let me know your thoughts. And that's all I have for this quick bonus episode. As always, remember, design more, despair less. Thanks for listening.